Today we're going to multiply fractions and whole numbers. So um, let's get started. Okay. All right. So let's say um, that I have um, five six and times uh, two. Okay. <clears throat> The first thing I need to do, well, I notice that I have a fraction here and a whole number here. So I need to, so I need to turn both of these numbers, I need to turn my 2 into a fraction. So I'm going to bring my 5, I'm going to write down my 5, 6 times. Now in order for me to turn this 2 into a fraction, I'm going to write the 2 and then I'm going to put a 1 under it. Okay. All right. So now that I've done that, now I can just multiply across. I'm going to say five times two, and I'll multiply six times one. So five times two is ten, and six times one is six. If you notice, I have an improper fraction here. If you've not watched the video on um, changing improper, um, improper fractions to mixed numbers, please watch that video, please. And that will explain this process in more detail. So, I'm going to, over here, I'm going to say 10 divided by 6. Ten, 6 will go into 10 um, one time. I'm going to subtract. So, I have my, this is my whole number. This is my numerator this is my denominator. So my whole number is going to be 1, my numerator is going to be 4, and my denominator is going to be 6. Well, now I need, since I have two even numbers here, I need to find my greatest common factor so I can reduce this. So I'm going to list my factors for 4 and 6. My factors for 4 are 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. My factors for 6 are 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. Well, my common factors are 1 and 2. But my greatest common factor is going to be 2. So I'm going to bring my 1 over. I'm going to bring that over. And I'm going to divide the 4 divided by 2 and a 6 divided by 2. 4 divided, divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So my final answer is 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, let's try another one. Um, I have two-fifths times four. Well, first thing I need to do, I need to make sure that I need to turn this into a, a fraction. So I'm going to say, I'm going to bring my two-fifths down times, I'm going to change this four into a fraction, so I'm going to write four and put it over one. Now, I want to multiply across. That's 2 times 4, and I'm going to multiply 5 times 1. Then, 2 times, two times 4 is 8, 5 times 1 is 5. Again, I have an improper fraction, so I'm going to divide um, 8 divided by 5. Here's my whole number, here's my numerator, here's my denominator. So my answer is my mixed number is going to be 1 and 3 is my numerator and 5 is my denominator. I'm going to check and make sure this is in lowest terms. So I'm going to write 3 and 5, get my factors. My factors for 3 are 1 and 3. 
my factors for 5 are 1 and 5 okay so now I need to see what they have in common since they only have a 1 in common so that means the greatest common factor is 1 whenever the greatest common factor of your numerator and your denominator is 1 then therefore it's in lowest terms okay let's try another one here I have um, let's do 5 times 1 third okay so I need to change this whole number into a fraction so I'm going to write 5 over 1 times one-third all right now I'm going to multiply across five times one and one times three five times one is five one times three is three I need to get I need to change this improper fraction now the reason why it's improper is because the numerator is larger than the denominator okay um, and uh, please watch the video on changing mixed improper fractions into mixed numbers and I also have a video on mixed numbers into improper fractions okay so we want to take 5 divided by 3 this is my division I'm going to this is going to be my whole number this is my numerator and this is my denominator so my answer is going to be 1 and two-thirds and I know for a fact that this is already in lowest terms all right um, I would like for you to try one <clears throat> let's go with um, three times four fifths if you'll please multiply those to the fraction and the whole number and um, pause the video thank you all right we have we need to change this whole number into a fraction so that's going to be three over one times four fifths I'm going to multiply across 3 times 4 and 1 times 5 okay I multiply my numerators and I multiply my denominators 3 times 4 is 12 1 times 5 is 5 as you can see your denominator was large your numerator I'm sorry your numerator was larger than your denominator so this creates an improper fraction and we need to change this improper fraction into a mixed number so that I'm going to divide 12 divided by 5 5 goes into 12 two times so this is my whole number this is my numerator that's my denominator so I have a whole number of 2 my numerator is 2 and my denominator is 5 and this is in lowest terms all right, uh, that's it for today. If you would like to email me with future suggest video suggestions, please go to mathwithmoon.org and leave your comments and some emails. All right, have a great day.